We have got some news for you, Jess. Last week we took a water sample from the Parramatta River in front of your house where you go swimming with your children. Do you mm. go swimming with uh, Freddie yep. and Tildy mm-hmm. in the Parramatta River? And so far, so good. Yeah, well, that's... No signs? No ill effects? No. You, you only have to look at the size of my bottom to know I haven't had any, you know, gut-wrenching sicknesses. Okie dokie. <laughs> Let's not even think about that. Uh, just your general health is pretty everything's good. Everything's fine. Yeah, yeah, everything's great. And, and you would think if you're going to get any, any ill effects from water, especially infected by heavy metals, mercury, petrochemicals, those uh, effects would be immediate. Well, look, we've been told by the locals that it's fine to swim in there. So from, a Putney Bowls Club, where they, yeah, they've grown the, up um, swimming in that river. They said that they swim in the river regularly. I've never seen them and I've never seen anyone swim in it. But, look, but so they you haven't seen any. Have you seen anyone besides you and your children ever swim in Parramatta River? No, but I have checked with the locals and they say, yeah, it's so fine. You no, know, you've never seen anyone else swim look, in the Parramatta yes, River? no, never. Now, uh, of course, the Putney Bowls Club, uh, it's like the UNESCO Scientific Foundation and... <laughs> like Mensa, isn't it? They're very clever they, people. Very oh. clever people. When they're not working on the Hubble telescope, they're up at Putney Bowls. Well, they are very lovely, intelligent people. Yes, they are. Lovely, I love the Putney lovely Bowls. Lovely and intelligent aren't necessarily <laughs> a Venn diagram. You don't know them. You can't all of a sudden stereotype the Putney Bowls, but they're very good people. <laughs> <laughs> Never I have been nothing there. against them. I'm just saying they may not be scientifically... Uh, equipped to be able to give well, you good advice. Anyway, we're probably you... idiots. They're not idiots. They they don't have bunsen burners, but we... they're fine. <laughs> we followed the instructions of uh, SESL Laboratories. Cecil. And Cecil uh, is the acronym. Yes, and they said you had to take a liter and a half of water, mm. put it on ice. So if there was any bacterial or microbes in the water, it would survive, and then they could test it properly. So we followed all that. And we have got the results back from SESL Treatment Lab in Thornley. I actually feel a bit sick about this now. They conducted a complete environmental water assessment and found <clears throat> ad- abnormally high levels of enterococci. What's that? Now, this means that, Jess, you and your children are swimming in an unsafe amount of faecal bacteria. <gasps> now, faecal bacteria could be human or animal but there is an unsafe amount. Cecil has officially recommended no one swim in the Parramatta River whatsoever. Why now, aren't there signs? Well, you can make one up yourself. If I you wanna, will. If you want to know how to spell <laughs> enterococci, it's E-N-T-E-R-O-C-O-C-C-I. What a word. Entero. Cock-eye. I don't really Cock-eye. think the spelling of the word is yeah. what we should be focusing well, on. Well, you don't want to be swimming around in is yeah, a whole lot yeah. of cock eye. Yeah. That's for sure. <laughs> you don't want oh it, God, especially on Valentine's Day. Now, the scientists have expressed how dangerous it is for both children and elderly people as, as their immune systems are more likely to be compromised by this bacteria. And this is the very bad news. I'm going to cry. Oh. I'm honestly going to cry. Well, we are going to speak to um, docs and have your children taken <laughs> off you because you've had them... <laughs> Too close to cockeye for too long. Oh my God. While swimming in the river, it's not life-threatening, but it is possible that you could contract cholera. Now, What's cholera oh my is God. a devastating, horrific disease. Uh, this may result in sunken eyes, cold skin, decreased skin like uh, elasticity, wrinkling of the hands and feet. Basically, well, I've got that. You, you, <laughs> yeah, you've got cholera. Got the wrinkling cholera. of the hands and I'm... feet. <laughs> you are crying because you're... <laughs> Poor oh, children. Terrible. So, yeah, um, it's basically an infection of the small intestine that uh, kills you a... through dehydration. When they set up a cholera unit after yeah. a flood in Africa, it's basically wooden frames with a black plastic sheet where you go to die no, and then don't. they burn the I bed. No, don't. I feel terrible. <laughs> you it, are terrible. Is it, long t- is it a long-term oh, no. thing or is it's it immediate? It's so horrifically if any of us painful and it. very short-term. Oh, okay, well, thank you very much for your comfort. <laughs> no, but, but it's immediate. What you're asking is, is there a... You know, a um, a gestation yeah. period for cholera. So no. if we if I if they had it, they'd have it today. So you've dodged <laughs> the bullet so far. Just stay out of the river. They need to put signs on this. Like if you're new to Again, town, from SESL Treatment Lab in Thornley. This means that Jess and her children oh, no. are swimming oh, in an it. unsafe amount of fecal bacteria. Oh, you Look, do you know what? It'd be safer to go to our toilets here on a Monday morning. <laughs> I don't when they're think most, it... and, and that's a shout out to the uh, the office at eight, whatever it is, quarter to nine. 
I know the weekend's coming up. Go to the toilet before you get to work. It's a disgrace in there on a Monday morning. It's like the Parramatta River. <laughs> do I just? I know you're new to Sydney. We'll find you some new swimming I'm not spots. New to Sydney, but yes, yeah, I do a, need like new the coast. Spots. <laughs> There's a great spot down near the fish markets. You just jump in there at Blackwattle Bay. Take the kids yeah. down there. Too hormonal for this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Why don't you I go? I just am very upset. We've been swimming in feces. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Why don't you take a dump in the bath and just put him in that? I'm actually <laughs> devastated. At least you know it's your fix. Got the moon man in the morning. Sydney's 104.9 Triple M.